So if you've watched my previous videos and especially my vlogs, you'll notice that I have quite a bit of plants in my small apartment. And so today I thought it would be fun to take you on a plant tour. And then after that, we'll paint one of my plants using acrylic gouache on Canva. So in my entryway, I have some jade plants. Um, I've had them for quite a while. For They weren't doing that great. They were kind of getting really leggy for some time. Uh, but now they're starting to make more leaves and starting to look a lot better. And then above that I have a, I think it's called Norfolk pine. That's kind of what I use for my Christmas tree. Um, it's grown quite a bit over the years, but it's not like huge yet. So the first plant you would see if you came into my apartment would be this potos. Potos are really easy to grow. You can propagate them really easily too in water or in soil. It's really nice because it drapes down. It's really very decorative. And like I said, super easy to take care of. Then by this window, I have a marantha plant who unfortunately suffered, suffered from the heat from last summer. So some of the leaves are a little bit burnt still. Um, quite a few of my plants suffered from the heat last summer, but it's flowering. It's pretty happy making lots of new leaves right now. And then I have a Pilea or Pilea plant. This is actually the most recent purchase I bought this plant maybe a couple of months ago. Always wanted one. <laughs> then I have a African violet, which is nice because it adds, you know, a few blooms, especially. I also got this this winter and uh, yeah, it loves a lot of light. I have a spider plant, which I need to repot because it's grown a lot. And then over here, I have this fern which has grown a lot. I got it, it was just a little plant, like a four inch pot or something. And I actually almost killed it a couple times, but now it's doing really, really well. It also suffered from the heat last summer, but it recovered really well. Um, those plants, you have to water them a lot. In fact, you've probably seen me in my previous vlog, I'm always watering this one first. Uh, but yeah, she's pretty happy. And then I have a Catalea plant, or Catalea, uh, which I love for its uh, mix of green and pink color. She also suffered from the heat last summer, unfortunately, uh, but has recovered pretty well. I have a fiddle fig plant which I got also very small, which it's grown a lot. Um, and it's doing pretty well. This is kind of, I forget, I forget the name, it's called the money tree plant. It lost a lot of leaves, but now it kind of looks like a little palm tree with a long stem. Uh, this dizzy plant, which is a little bit dusty right now. By my desk slash studio space, there's a snake plant, which is a remnant from actually a bigger plant, which had root rot, unfortunately, but I was able to save part of the plant. It's, it's making new leaves, so that's great. Then there's this, I think it's called umbrella plant, but I'm not 100% sure. I got this a while ago. It's grown a lot. Um, when I got it, it was really tiny as well. It's making new leaves. This plant has a first name. Her name is Martha. Um, yeah, sometimes, I don't know, some of my plants like to be named. Then I have this uh, philodendron, which has grown a lot also. I love that it's got a lot of different greens in its leaves and that the new 
leaves come up almost yellow, like a green yellow. So I'll be painting this one later um, in the video. And then I have up here a string of hearts, which I got on Etsy, gosh, a few years ago. I can't remember when. It came in just like, I think, four little strings. And then I propagated them, and now it's a much bigger plant. It gets tangled a lot, <laughs> so that's a little bit annoying, but it's, it's really pretty. I have another potos up here. And over here above my bed, I have this huge potos, which I've had for, I don't know, I want to say eight or nine years. And it's really grown. There's a, this um, vine is like twirled. <laughs> it's really, really long. Um, and then I have a little bit, I have a few potos leaves in water propagating but this this potos it's always almost becoming like a piece of art and then by my bed another potos <laughs> little plant by my bedroom window I have a spider plant hanging those are really good to filter the air and then in the corner, I have more duplicates of plants because I like to propagate plants, like another spider plant down here, which I probably should repot or pot those little plant babies. And another Catalida. I'm probably saying that wrong. For some reason, I can never remember what it's called. It's tricolor. It gets really pretty, but this one also suffered from the heat from last year, last summer. And then I have this huge um, money plant, which I've had for quite a while now, maybe almost nine years-ish. So now that we've completed the little house tour of my house plants, um, I will show you how to paint a philodendron with acrylic gouache on Canva. So to paint a uh, fill, <laughs> our philodendron, I thought today I would use, instead of using regular paper, I found those um, canvas uh, sheets. Um, and I wanted to try it because I wanted to paint using acrylic gouache. I could use regular paper too, but I thought it would be interesting to try this um, canvas paper thing. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to start with a background and then I'll start painting the plant. Mm I've sketched the plant on my background and I started mixing a yellow all I have left is a mustard yellow so I'm gonna make it work and then some ultramarine blue to create like a deep green with acrylic gouache or even just gouache you can start either work from dark to light or from light to dark as opposed to watercolor where you have to start from light and then build on the layers. Um, so yeah, 
I'm going to start with maybe some of the bigger leaves. I'm going to do a first coat with I want to have a similar color for every leaf and then I will build on that.
So here is the final painting of Phil the Philodendron. I think it's a pretty good representation of this houseplant. It was pretty fun to paint something different. Now painting on canvas is quite different from painting on paper. It's a lot less smooth. So that was a bit of a challenge, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite house plants? Do you love plants? I consider myself a plant lady. Um, so maybe you do too. Um, anyways, again, thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.